Hello, welcome back to Coding Money. Today we're going to be solving lead code 11, container with the most water. In this uh, question, we're given an integer array of heights. This bar chart that you're seeing above is represented by this input array. Every element in this array is a bar or a wall in this chart. I'm going to call it wall. You can call it whatever you want. So this is one. This is eight. This is six, two, and so on. We need to return the maximum amount of water a container can store. As you can see, a container is created using this wall and this wall. Uh, the blue shaded area is the maximum area of water the container can contain, and that is 49. If you pay close attention, you will see that there are hints given to you all over the question. The first one I think is max area of water. What does it mean? It must mean that we need to return some sort of area. Then the first question that comes to mind is what is an area or how to calculate an area. We know that area is equal to length multiplied by width. Well, let's suppose we didn't know this formula. The second hint is this output, the number 49. We could reverse engineer and figure out how could have we gotten to this number. Well, let's see, what is the length over here? The length must be the height, right? We know the container that is formed is using this left wall and the right wall. We're seeing that there are two heights, right? Which one do you think will make more sense to use? Well, I think the minimum of the two heights would make more sense to use because if you were to pour in more water over here, it would spill over the lower wall. We couldn't store more water over here because that's the maximum level that the water could be stored here, right? It makes sense to use the lower wall uh, which is seven right so the length over here is seven and uh, what is the width how to calculate the width well the width must be the distance from the right wall so it is one two three four five six seven right seven multiplied by seven is equal to 49 and that is our output even if we didn't know the formula, this is how we could figure out the equation. All right, let's come up with our brute force solution, an easy way to solve this problem. Let's imagine we start from scratch, something like this. The first idea that comes to mind is to check every pair of the walls and find out the maximum area under any pair of walls. Let me add their indices and also create two pointers, I and j. i will be at index 0 and j is equal to i plus 1. We calculate the area for these two walls. We know the formula area is length multiplied by width. Here the length is the height. Um, we got two height. Which one we would, would we use? We use the minimum height. Why? Because if we were to pour in more water, the water will spill over the lower um, wall to the left. So therefore, we, we choose the lower wall, uh, which is a uh, length of 1. And the width is j minus 1, which is also 1. 1 multiplied by 1 is the area for these two walls. We move our j pointer forward to the next element. We calculate the area of wall 0 with wall 2. We move forward, do the same thing, calculate the area of wall i with the wall 3. We move forward, calculate the area. We move forward, do the same thing, calculate the area, move forward until we reach the end of the array. When our j pointer is at the end of the array, we store the maximum area that can be formed from wall i with any of the other walls. We start over and this time we'll move our i pointer forward and we know that j is i plus 1 so j would also be moved forward one step forward than the i and we perform the same steps again we do the same thing all 
All right, let's start coding our brute force solution using the approach we just discussed. We'll create a nested loop. Uh, the outer loop will uh, traverse the array from uh, zero to the end of the array. The inner loop traverses the array from i plus one to the end of the array. I need to create a variable outside the nested loop to store the maximum water that can be contained in a container. I will call this max water. Set it to zero. After calculating area for every combination of the wall using our nested loop, this variable will have our final result that we will return from our function at the end. We know the formula for area is len multiplied by width as we discussed so const len is a minimum of high i high j and width is j minus i here we'll update the value for max water we'll do math dot max in fact, I need to fix this one. That is mat.min, the area or max water. Here I'll update the value. If the area that we calculated is greater than the max water, we'll set max water to that area. And at the end, we'll return max water. Now let's run the code to see if it works. All right, so our solution has been accepted, but we cannot submit it. If we submit, we're gonna get a time limit exceeded error. This solution is not very efficient. As you can see, we're using nested loops and we're calculating area for every combination of the walls. And so we'll uh, get a time limit exceed uh, error uh, if we are provided with uh, a larger array. Uh, so uh, the time complexity uh, for the solution is O of n squared. Now let's figure out a way to make this better. Can we get a linear time O of n time complexity? Now let's take a look at the optimal solution. Let's try the two pointers technique. We'll create two pointers, left and right. We'll initialize the left pointer to the left and right pointer all the way to the right. And then we'll calculate the area between these two pointers and store its value. We have two pointers, left and right, and we need to determine how to move uh, one of them. Well, we can move any of them. Uh, but remember, as we discussed, that wall with the lower height was our limiting factor. Therefore, we'll move the pointer that has a lower value. And as you can see, the value for the right pointer is lower compared to the left pointer. So we'll move the right pointer. We repeat the same steps. We calculate the area and check its value is it greater than the previous area we calculated? If it is, then we will store its value. We'll repeat the steps. We now have a better idea of how to make our solution optimal using the two pointers technique. So let's start coding. I have commented out our brute force solution for your reference. Again, we need the max water, uh, we'll set it to zero. And once we figure out the maximum area, we'll just return that max water, right? And also we'll initialize the left pointer at zero and right pointer at height dot length minus one, while left pointer is less than right. Okay, here we need to write the logic for moving our pointers. So if height at left is lower than the height at right, we move our left pointer forward, else we'll decrement the right pointer like this. And we can actually copy our equation uh, from our brute force solution. We can just copy this code and I can just paste it right here, uncomment it, 
and we can actually get rid of these two variables right but first we need to make some changes like instead of i we need to put l instead of j we need to put r okay and then we can just get rid of this variable we can get rid of this as well but we need to put it inside the parentheses and this is our optimal solution. Let's run our code to see if it works. Yes, it's working. Let's submit it. Perfect. As you can see, our optimal solution is so much faster. The time complexity is O of N, linear time and space is O of 1.